Hey, hi everyone, I'm Rafe, Rafe Favourite Photography. Uh, firstly, I apologise, the last time I did a video like this, I was on a spinny chair like this and I spent the whole video doing this. It was really annoying, so I'm going to try not to do it. Um, I'm a wedding photographer, I'm based in Hitchin in Hertfordshire. I've been running my business for about six years now. I describe myself as a reportage, documentary, photojournalistic kind of photographer. Um, a lot of other photographers do that as well. I'm not the only one, I appreciate that. But with me, I do do epic bride and groom portraits. Uh, I do them quickly. I don't go off for an hour with a couple. I can work in 15, 20 minutes and get some cool stuff. Uh, but for me, I prefer the day to be unstaged. Yes, we'll do family group shots. Yes, we'll do some lovely bride and groom shots, but I don't like doing hammy stuff. I don't want to be, you know, kind of coming up with, hey guys, I've got a crazy idea. That's got to be organic. It's your wedding day, and my job is to capture it in the most natural way possible. So if people want to throw the bride in the air, brilliant, I'll photograph it. Um, but it's got to be what's happening naturally. That's so important for me. Uh, but the way I try and photograph is very much in a way where I am invisible, which is kind of difficult when you're six foot eight, but I do my best. Um, but I try and do it in a way that, you know, I'm blending in as part of the day. I think the thing that makes everything work for me really well is when uh, a client just embraces me into their day and everyone there, the wedding guests, the families, the bridesmaids, grooms and parents and everyone else just see me as part of the wedding. And when that happens, I can do my best thing. And the only way to get there is to really work on relationships with people. It doesn't just stop with the bride and groom. That goes to everyone on the wedding day. So uh, like I said, everyone involved, I want to be just connecting with them, having a laugh, being really relaxed, uh, taking the mick out myself, taking the mick out of the guests if they're if I think it's appropriate. Um, remembering I'm there as a professional, but really not being too professional that I kind of look like I'm there as a supplier. It's, it's a weird one. It's a balance that I think only with emotional intelligence you can really get it right. And I've been on the planet for enough years now to hopefully know, you know when it's right to say something ridiculous and when it's not. So I'm still working on that, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how I like to approach it. But really it is getting right in there. I like to shoot with a fairly wide angle. Um, I don't want to look like a sniper in the bushes. For me, if I'm in there and people can see me, um, that's fine. But if people can just act naturally around me, that's when I know it's working and I can get the most natural photos. And I'm looking for joy, I'm looking for emotion, I'm looking for connection. And I just spend my whole day preparing, planning, and anticipating those moments so I can capture them on my camera. Um, now, if you like what you've heard so far, then you know please go and look through my social media channels and my website. Uh, you'll see on my Instagram a number of images. Go to my website. There's a link to a highlights video from the best clips of last year, which is a really good introduction for my style of photography. It kind of hammers about 300 images at you in four minutes, so it's a, it's a, to music. So it's quite a, it's quite an intense way of of uh, getting to sort of you know work out my style. In terms of clients, have I got an ideal client? Um, I don't have a set client type. Uh, for me, if my photography and my personality are feel to you like the right fit for your day, you're my right client. And, you know, it doesn't matter what people look like. It doesn't matter where they're getting married. It doesn't matter what they wear. I, I really don't care. If I've got people that really want to work with me and allow me and trust me to do my thing, that makes them the perfect client. It's just having that trust. If you know that you don't need to worry about your photography because we've got this guy who's got this silver beard and he knows what he's doing and he wears crazy shirts, so we know we're in safe hands, then you just hand me the keys to that and I will just run it for you. Planning side, I'm a little bit organized. I think there should be some organization. I will know which family group shots we're gonna do. I will know the timings of all the bits that I need to know. Um, but you know, it's your wedding day. If things run over slightly, that's fine. We won't stress about it. You know, we'll get everything done. The only two things you really need to be on time for are the ceremony, and it's fine if you make the groom sweat for five minutes. That's no problem at all. 
um, or the wedding breakfast, which we don't, no one wants to eat cold food. So I'll make sure you're back for the wedding breakfast. But you know, if the first dance is half an hour late, it's no problem, you know? If we've got some amazing light in the evening and we want to just fit in some awesome golden hour photos, then we'll do that. We won't worry if it's not on the plan, then it's no big deal. It's whatever you guys want. And I think, again, you know, having that trust that uh, you guys know, look, Rafe, if you see a cool shot and you want to go and do it, just shout and we'll go with you. You know, that's brilliant. That, that's, that's just what I want to hear. Um, but everything I do has got to fit within your day. It's not about me. I'm just a photographer. I'm just one of the vendors there. Um, so, you know, the most important thing is that your day is fantastic. I capture it in the right way, but it's not at the compromise of anything else. I don't want people to say, well, the image is great, but my God, did he have to take him off two hours to climb that mountain? That's not my style, guys. You should be there and present on your wedding day. You should make sure you have time for your, uh, for your guests, for your families to have, you know, reception drinks and a nibble, and you should have some quality time with them. It shouldn't be all about photos. We'll capture some great candid shots of all that happening, but uh, you know, we don't want to spend an hour doing family groups. We can get that done in half an hour. We can have the list, we can bash through it. That's no problem at all. Uh, in terms of what I offer, in terms of a package, it's really simple. You, you, I just want you to book me for the day. There's no hours restrictions. There's no limitations. Um, I want to photograph your wedding. I need uh, the, you know, a full day to do that. I can't do it in four, five, six hours. So I'm going to be there from, you know, three hours before the ceremony, generally to two and a half hours after the first dance. So I'm there all evening. Um, the dance floor bit, the after party is so important to me. I have no idea why a wedding photographer would go after the first dance. It's not the end of the day for me. It's the kind of the beginning of the relaxed bit. You've done all your formal stuff. You've done your, um, you know, ceremony. Uh, you've done your, uh, you know, speech. Um, you've done the first dance where all eyes are on you and then you can just you know have a beer get smashed relax and enjoy the party and that's when sometimes the most natural photos happen so yeah I don't want to miss that um, so you get me for the day uh, the only other thing I do offer a videographer um, it's not essential I work with other videographers but I've got a videographer he's really good he's worked with me now for uh, pretty much five years uh, as a second shooter at first and then he migrated to video two years ago. He films the way I shoot, he works the way I work, he's somebody who knows my business, knows my brand, knows how to act. Same with all my second photographers. Uh, videography is not for everyone but second photographer for me makes so much difference. I can deliver you so much more of a complete wedding album, a wedding gallery with a second photographer. So that's one thing, the only thing that I really say is for me a must and I only charge £250 and you get a photographer, another photographer all day with me. So literally they will do groom prep right the way through and they'll be photographing the dance floor with me at 10.30, 11 o'clock at night still. So um, for me, that's just a no brainer and I price it in a way that it is a no brainer. It's just, you'd be mad not to have it because you can get so much more with a second shooter. All my second photographers, they're all friends. They're all people that I know, I've known for years. They're people that I would have at my own wedding. I know them so well. Uh, they photograph to my exacting standards, they behave to my exacting standards, they're really good people um, and I don't just pick photographers out of obscurity that I don't know, that'd be too risky. They've got to be somebody with the right character uh, for me. So if you go to my website, I've dedicated a whole page to my second shooters because I love them so much, it's a bit weird I know, um, but uh, that's how important they are to me and I'm so proud to have that as part of my brand that I want to show them off to the world. So you would get one of those guys on your wedding day as well. Um, talked a bit about planning. In terms of booking process, I mean, it's pretty simple. If you guys like what you hear today, um, we, can, uh, we can have a separate video chat. You guys can ask me more questions. I can find out more about you and your wedding day. Uh, we'd make it face to face if we could, but right now we're a little limited, so it might have to be a video. Um, but we, I'd make sure we met up in the future anyway, uh, you know, once we're free of all this and we can actually have a face-to-face, -face, we do the planning stuff anyway. Um, so yeah, we can have a chat, we can talk about your specifics, and if you like me, you can book me with a uh, booking fee and we can get the date locked in and then you can relax, you've got your photographer sorted. Um, obviously there's a lot of crazy stuff going on at the moment, um, COVID-19, and a lot of my work for 2020 is being moved along with a lot of other wedding supplies to 2021. 
So 2021 dates are going fast and I'm gonna have the busiest year of my life, but I need it to recover from this year. So I'll be doing a lot of weddings next year, but it does mean that a lot of the key dates are starting to go. So um, I would say regardless of whichever wedding suppliers you book over the next couple of months, you 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 know you get a wriggle on with it and start sort of you know getting an idea who you want and get them booked in wedding photographers videographers bands they always go pretty early uh, some of the other people you can maybe book a bit closer to the date but definitely get your photography and your videography and your music sorted because those guys can't do two gigs in a day they're going to be committed to you so um, that's my bit of advice for today um, so because I like doing little promotions and stuff. Uh, if you get in touch with me and you decide to book as a result of this, I'm happy to do £100 off a uh, little discount if you book before the end of June. Um, so just remind me if you get in touch with me through any other means that you saw me on here and then I can offer you the discount. That's on my full, full day package. Um, so that's a little incentive as well. Um, but you know, I'd love to chat to you guys. Um, I'd love to have a video call. I'd love to meet you through uh, video and you know, have a chat and find out more about you guys and, and what you need. Um, in the meantime, please just go and have a look at my stuff and um, hopefully it's to your liking and hopefully in the very near future we can have a conversation. So thanks for watching and listening and have a great weekend. Thanks.